You want to mount your resin version of Hoggle onto a plinth. Uh, if you had the Kickstarter uh, resin plinths to go with your miniatures, that's fairly easy to do. Uh, you do need either a Dremel tool with drill bits or this is called a pin vise, which is a hand operated drill. As you can see, the, uh, the handle stays in your palm and the actual drill bit rotates. So what you do is you start off small and then you go up in sizes as you're drilling. So depending on what size um, rod you want in the model and in the plinth, because it will be visible um, to a certain extent, especially from the back of the model. Uh, brass rod is always a, is a, good, a good option. Uh, so get your scalpel and you just want to mark out the center point of the miniature. It's quite handy on Hoggle because there is a little lump here which I've just shaved down very slightly, uh, which is roughly in the middle. So you want a, a kind of a guide so that when your, your drill doesn't slip around when you first start to first start to drill a hole. Try and keep it as level as possible. Try and match or get a good angle for how you want the, uh, the model to be visible. And then just drill in with a small size. This is a one millimeter drill bit. Just drill in and then go up in sizes depending on the size of your brass rod that you want to pop in there or, or whichever rod you have chosen. And you do the same on the actual uh, plinth itself as well. And then they'll slot together. You probably want to go in almost the length of the drill. You want a good, there's, there's plenty of resin in there to support it. So you want a nice strong connection. If you've got a Dremel, this is obviously a lot easier, but go slowly um, because the resin can clog drill bits quite easily if you're going too fast. Uh, you can also use a normal home power drill if you've got something with a plenty of control, if you want slightly bigger, slightly bigger bits, but use the smallest one available to start with. Um, it's called a pilot hole, so it guides everything else. If it gets stuck at all, just wiggle the drill backwards and forwards. Just rotate it. Try not to go side to side, otherwise you'll, you'll widen the hole too much. And always remember to wear your mask while you're drilling because resin dust can be harmful. So I'll go up another size with this one and then we can get it mounted. So now we want to be drilling a hole in the plinth itself. Uh, this is one of the labyrinth plinths uh, with, that came with the Kickstarter and all we want to be doing is marking out a center point so that we can drill a hole to mount the model and as these are square the easiest way to do that is just to take a, a relatively sharp pencil a, a rule uh, steel if possible but most will do and then just go corner to corner no need to measure or anything like that, as long as you match the corners up roughly, you'll get a point where you can drill right in the center. And then we do exactly the same as we did before with our pin vise or Dremel or even your um, power tools. I started off with a pin vise here just to uh, make a pilot hole uh, and then used a uh, sort of standard household power drill that's got a decent amount of control drill the uh, the mounting point for the rod now when you're using the the household stuff you do want to go quite slowly so I do recommend something that's got a lot of control so if you can go quite slowly that's good um, and then you just pop your rod in uh, don't glue anything to start with and just see how they how they match up and then you can adjust the depths as you go along uh, and this is hoggle on the plinth itself. You can obviously rotate this however you want. Um, and as for glue, you can use super glue, will work perfectly well, 
for a two-part epoxy um, but do be careful with the two-part epoxy because if you get it onto the top of the plinth itself you'll need to chip or scrape or sand that off and it can get quite messy so super glue is a good starter glue but thank you ever so much for watching and hope you'll check out the rest of the build guides from the Jim Henson Broken Toad Black Sun Dark Crystal and Labyrinth Kickstarter. Thanks very much.